Hello and welcome to a quick update video for the channel. First of all, I wanted to thank everyone for watching and supporting my channel. I know I say this every time, but it means a lot to me that people continue to watch and support the videos I make. For this video, I wanted to talk about what to expect throughout the start of 2021. Throughout the back half of 2020, I mostly relied on content I recorded over the summer. At this point, I still have three full playthroughs scheduled for January, but I don't have much recorded beyond that. With how unpredictable everything has been lately, I'll do my best to stick to a daily uploading schedule, but there may be some days where I don't post anything. Regarding non-LP content, working on one-off videos has been really fun since there are a lot of games I like that wouldn't work well for full playthroughs. At some point, I also want to make more videos about specific topics instead of focusing on one game or series. Like before, discussion videos will be posted on the 15th of each month, with occasional extra videos for new releases or specific occasions. Meanwhile, reviews have been a good way to feel productive when I'm not able to work on commentated playthroughs, since I can capture footage or work on scripts when I'm not able to record commentaries. While I still want to upload a review on the last day of each month, I might take a break from Zelda games after Link's Awakening, mostly because I want to give myself more time to gather footage of the various versions of each game. If I do take a break, I'll try to post an additional discussion or standalone review instead. Finally, I wanted to talk about why I haven't been active on Twitch in a few months. In the past, I've mentioned wanting to stream more frequently, especially after becoming a Twitch affiliate, but I realized that I was streaming out of a sense of obligation rather than genuine enjoyment. Simply put, recording YouTube videos is much less stressful than playing a game in front of a live audience and also trying to build an audience on a different platform. I can't say I'll never stream again, but for the time being, I feel much better now that I don't have to worry about streaming. I'll also be changing how streams are archived on my channel. I've moved all of the currently uploaded stream playthroughs into their own category instead of including them with the pre-recorded Let's Plays. Despite editing streams into shorter videos, my commentary style felt different from having to juggle chat interaction and playing a game, and from not being able to easily redo a section of a game if I made a mistake. To anyone who has enjoyed my stream playthroughs, either live on Twitch or through the post uploads, thank you for supporting my attempts at streaming, and sorry for not being able to stick with it long term. In conclusion, assuming there aren't any major interruptions, I think 2021 will be an exciting year for my channel. I already have quite a few playthroughs in the works, and I hope everyone enjoys what I have planned. With how turbulent 2020 was, especially with how inconsistent uploads were at first, I'm glad I was able to maintain a daily upload schedule through most of the year. With that being said, thanks again for all of the support over the years, stay safe, and thank you for watching.